Wednesday night presentation, he makes a strong case for quickest player in the league. Aaron Brooks and the Houston Rockets go up against the Golden State Warriors and their explosive combo guard, Monte Ellis. Houston, Golden State, coming up next. There is Monte Ellis arriving early. He'll try to put the Warriors on his back one more time. We're in the place they call Oracle Arena in Oakland, California, the home of the Warriors, where we're going to broadcast today's game live. 2K Sports and the NBA welcomes you to our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg. First game back in Golden State for the Warriors. They're ready to play. This is the start of a brief homestand for them, but they may have a chance here, Kevin, to get some wins in front of their home fans before they head back out on the road. A look at the opening lineup for the Houston Rockets. Luis Scola at the power four and Big Yao Ming in the middle. Brooks and Martin manning the backcourt. And Battier. And for Golden State, Monte and Curry in the backcourt. David Lee and Andres Piatrinch up front and Williams. Just 15 wins for this Warrior team against the West last season. Yeah, down three, I believe, from their total the year before. I know their goal is to get back into the postseason, and a good place to start would be by winning against your own conference. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hey, Kevin, Don Nelson and I caught up a bit. It's one of the smartest offensive teams in the league that they're facing today, so he wants his guys to play just as smart defensively. We've got to be ready for anything, he said, because there are just so many ways they can beat you. Thanks, Doris. We'll see what more they can do against these shooters. Well, I think it comes down to two things, trusting the overall defensive strategy and trusting each other. And he makes the free throw. You talk about the Warriors in the postseason. How great of a run was that back in 2007? Fantastic. It was absolutely fascinating to watch. The energy of that building, the confidence that team played with, and the fans were as much a part of it as the players were. I mean, a lot of good memories from that explosive upset. So it's Houston now, after the miss from Stephen Curry. On the line, Martin with the bucket. Martin's got his first two points of the night. You know, Kevin Martin's one of the NBA's most efficient scorers in the last 30 years. I mean, he's the only player in NBA history to shoot over 40% from beyond the arc and average over eight free throw attempts a game, and he's done it twice. Some interesting numbers. Here's Curry following the score by Kevin Martin. Here's Pia Drench, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one, drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. They get Luis Scola. And the first one drops. Here's Kevin Martin, drafted out of the small school of Western Carolina, taken 26th overall. He's come a long way, Clark. Boy, it's just an example of how if you have game, it will travel. And this kid has worked extremely hard to make himself into a top-flight score. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Clark, you think about this Rockets team. They worked to play a more up-tempo style without Yao last year. And with their smaller front court, they really emphasize running out for layups and corner threes. And without the big guy in the lineup, that team had to make adjustments. And to their credit, they did and did so effectively. Here's Ellis. Outside Curry. Martin against Ellis. And again, no good by Golden State. So Clark, with that up-tempo look, how does that affect the team now when Yao comes back in the fold? Well, that's always interesting when you think about a presence like Yao and how much he can do inside. You've still got to play through him, but I think, I think they'll blend running when appropriate and making sure they take advantage of Yao when he's on the floor as well. And yep, that falls, and the foul is called. We'll see him shoot one from the free throw line. <laughs> and 
and no problem at the line here for the three-point play. You know, last season, Monte Ellis once again missed quite a few games. He missed 18 of them, actually. Ankle injuries, a knee injury, back troubles, a terrible flu. He wasn't as healthy as he wanted to be last year. Backing down is Yao. Shoots it up. And Houston again with the bucket. These guys are doing an excellent job on offense here at the start of this game. Good shots leading to four or five shooting. Curry kicks to Ellis. Covered by Martin. Here's Lee. And almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two here. They get Luis Scola. Clark Monte Ellis's quickness and athleticism is a big part of what makes him special. The Warriors have to wonder if, if he can stay healthy enough to be at his best long term. You know, Kevin, remember now, he led the league at over 41 minutes a game. He's got to get stronger, but they also have to do a job of kind of managing those minutes and maybe cutting him down to the mid to high 30s to make him most effective. That makes sense. And the Rockets making a change here. Patterson's checked in. He hits the second from the line. Not a lot expected out of David Lee coming into this league, but he's definitely a star now. Well, 29 teams did pass on him in the draft, but I bet if you had a mulligan, um, that number would be a lot less. Battier, the pass to Yao. With the fadeaway, and Lee pulls it down. He really needs to hit that consistently, or they'll just keep letting him shoot it. It is strange with Lee, that is, that so many teams passed up on him when he was a great rebounder in college, too. And it might have been, um, Kevin, just a case of teams seeing too much of him. And the good thing about it is, though, draft position has no bearing on what your career is going to look like. Williams against Brooks. Shot clock at five. Makes it from 18 feet out. And right now, Kevin, they're getting everything they want and sending a message while they're doing it. Curry kicks to Ellis. Baseline jumper. Shot is off. And the Rockets going the other way now. This game against Golden State is the first time they've met this season. The first of four between these teams this season. From deep, Brooks kept alive. Second chance shot. And good with the shot. And the whistle blows for the contact and a chance for one more. And he completes the three-point play. Four games, one team. That's, that's a nice chunk of your schedule. Exact same conference too, Kevin. So anytime you face a conference team, it's even more important and significant that you take them out. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And we've got a moment now to look at the highest scoring teams in the NBA from last season. We'll take a look at the Warriors, an exciting team to watch, currently second in the NBA. Boy, they do an excellent job offensively. Most of the season last year, they were really in sync. A nice flow and rhythm to their offensive game. But anytime you score the points they did, it's about unselfishness and trusting each other. Trying to convert on the alley-oop, but snatched away. Good anticipation for the steal. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Kevin, Epe Udo was called Uncle Ep at Baylor for his maturity and calming influence on the team. But also, Udo is old for a rookie at 23 years of age. Some have voiced concern that because of his age, Udo won't have as much upside as other prospects. 
Caputo responded, everybody always has work to do. I'm just going to come in day in, day out, work as hard as I can to try to get better every day. Kevin, pretty good start with his attitude. You bet. Thank you, Doris. And so here's Golden State. Patrick Patterson picking up that last bucket. Kept alive. Martin. And he lays that one up and in for two. Martin's got his third basket of the night right there. Here's Curry. No points for him. Pass to Williams. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Reggie Williams was called up from the D-League late last season. He sure did a nice job for the Warriors. In fact, the one game, Clark had a 28-point performance. Yeah, and listen to what Coach Don Nelson said. I love him. He can do the four big things. He guards his position. He rebounds his position. He can shoot, and he can pass. I think he's a nice find. Um, they signed him for the rest of the season, and he's got another year on his contract this year, too. The first one falls. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here is Brooks. He's coming off a 25-point game against the Lakers. Dumps it off. Mattier, the pass to Yao. David Lee comes up with the rebound. The defense couldn't close out on the mid-range, Jay. And the shooter made him pay. The open shot, Ellis. Sinks the open shot. Ellis has got five. He drew the D in and then kicked it out to the open man. Rockets leading by nine. Eddie outside. Backing down is Yao. The jump hook. Again, Yao missing. He hasn't been able to get on track here. Pass to Williams. His first shot is in the bank. Beautiful delivery with the bounce pass. He kept it away from the defense, which set up the shot perfectly. Battier kicks to Yao. Be a drench on him. The baseline, J, and it's Yao again missing. There's another example, Kevin, of how they're hustling to all the missed shots. To get and slam dunk. Wow! Now the Sprite slam cam for the replay. So powerful going up to the rim. You just have to step back and admire it. You know, he can go around you or over you, whichever way he wants. Here's Brooks. It's back to Battier. Williams picks him up. Backing down is Yao. And they get it. And good as he lays that one up. Yao's got his third basket of the night. Doing a great job here. Able to create some second chance points with their extra effort and hustle. Ellis with a screen on Betty. Here's Williams. The shot is off. And the Rockets go the other way. Just over three minutes left in the first. Brooks against Williams. From the wing. Nice shot by Brooks. Brooks has got his second basket of the night. Warriors trail by nine. Williams kicks to Ellis. Over Martin. Shots good by Ellis. Ellis has got seven. That's exactly where the coach wants him to get his shot, Kevin. Right there from mid-range. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Their last game a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. Well, I loved how they attacked the defense. That was impressive. They were able to get inside, draw fouls, get to the line, and then they made the important free throws. Some changes here for the Warriors. 
Jarrell Wright's checked in for Williams. And it's Pargo in for Steph Curry. Houston also making some changes. Jordan Hill, he's checked in for Patterson. Lee comes in for Kevin Martin. And it's Lowry in for Aaron Brooks. Here's Yao. A 32-point game for him in the win against the Lakers in Los Angeles. Kept alive. Laid in with the D draped all over him. Yao's got nine points. Passes it back. Here's Ellis. Rockets leading by nine. Now Lowry. Poked away. The interior D was lurking on that one. Ellis, the pass to Beadrench. The dump off. Lee. Down low. Four on the clock. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. David Lee is just one terrific rebounder. I mean, one of the best in the league. Even at 6'9", he goes after him like he's much bigger. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. As soon as Lee got the minutes, he put up some terrific numbers. Kevin, he's just one of those guys that packs a lot of production into his playing time. I mean, on a per-minute per basis, um, per-minute played basis, he, he gets an awful lot done scoring and rebounding. The shot's good from Yao. Right now, the defense just isn't doing the job. They're not getting it done. I mean, they're inattentive to details. They're kind of going through the motions. There's no intensity, no fire. They're just not as good as they need to be right now. Here's White. Drains it from short range. The defender couldn't get around the pick, and his help didn't show up in time. Nice play for the layup right there. Outside Lowry. Picked by Yao. Here's Lee. And he's able to score the bucket. Foul called by the official. So one free throw for him right here. First free throw. No good, and they don't get the three-point point. You see their early fouls here? They're having an impact so far. This is how they've built an early lead, a relentless and punishing inside game. Tipped. And the basket by Beadrench. That's a good look. Very nice look. Here's Lowry. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Now inside, defended by Beadrench. Lee gets the bucket. They still have a lot of time to get back into this game, but they've got to do a better job of limiting the second chance points. Passes back. On the wing, Ellis, covered by Lee. Right for three. And that's collected by Hill. And here we go with Kyle Lowry. Pass to Yao. Kept alive. First quarter concluding here with a double-digit lead on the board. Rockets on top, up by 12. They haven't been shy at all. They're going right to the bucket and playing aggressive, hard-nosed basketball. Smash-mouth basketball. So far, their physicality has been the deciding factor. And we'll get back to the action right after this.
Tune in this Halloween. Darren Williams and the Utah Jazz go up against Kevin Durant and the Oklahoma City Thunder. The NBA season blasts off. Hoops action. And as the second quarter begins, it hasn't been the most competitive game so far. Here is Lowry. Not on the scoreboard yet. They've got David Lee. Charlie Bell out there with Steph Curry. Then there's Williams and Gad Zurich. That's the Warriors' five. Curry against Lowry. Pass to Martin. Williams against Buttinger. Shoots it. Hayes, no good. That's pretty smart defense to let him take those shots. Curry with it. Buttinger defending. Curry gets the bucket. Curry's got his first basket of the night. His agility and soft touch really paid off there. Not many players could have laid that in. Martin with a screen on Curry. Here's Lowry. Hits the 15-footer. Lowry's got his first points in this one. Bell with it. Fast to lead. He dishes it. For three, Bell scooped up. And no good. But close on that one, so he'll shoot two. While there's a break in the action, let's take a look at the players who had the most steals in the league last season. Look at Curry, one of the league's best third in steals. Two words for you about this guy. Fast hand. He was able to come away with the ball a lot last season. He found a way always. And he makes the first. The Rockets, Clark, played last season without Yao Ming. That is a huge loss for them. Yeah, both figuratively and literally when you talk about what he means to that team. And despite that, they missed out on the playoffs, but they still had a winning record overall. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And for the Rockets, they have to be proud the way they scrapped through that season, held it together, and like we said before, finished with a plus 500 record. Yeah, I agree with you there, Kevin, because this team really maxed out what it was capable of considering the injuries and the lack of personnel they had on a regular basis. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Well, guys, some exciting changes in Golden State. Some talented new players, to be sure, but also new ownership. For the Warriors, only one playoff appearance in the last 16 seasons, the worst of any team in the league. During that span, a winning percentage ahead of only the Los Angeles Clippers. The Warriors faithful, so hoping that the new leadership can help steer the organization towards more consistent success. Guys, these great fans certainly deserve it. No doubt about that. Thank you, Doris. Clark, the Warriors coaching staff, says that Steph Curry is extremely responsive to suggestions. Yeah, and that's a good thing, to be coachable and ready to receive coaching. Um, they wanted him to come off screens more aggressively, and once they told him that, he started doing it consistently. And the basket by Scola. Nice feed. That's the way to keep the ball moving. Now a timeout called by Golden State.
both teams deciding to change it up. Here's Bia Drench. Goes up. Curry's shot is good. Curry's got his second bucket of the night. Rockets leading by eight. Tipped away. Brooks against Curry. Curry against Brooks. Here's Scola, and that one goes and stayed with it, even with the contact, and a free throw coming up. First personal foul, two to seven. At the line for the Rockets, Bruce Scola, shooting the ball. He can't complete the three-point play. Luis Scola came over to the NBA a few seasons back after a dominant career in Europe. Yeah, you kind of wondered if he'd be able to translate his game to the size and athleticism of the NBA. There's no need to worry about that. He's proven himself in the league. Yeah, he's answered the skeptics. Yep. Here is Brooks. Jump off pass. Martin. It's blocked. For three. And it's Miller missing. Here's the Warriors with the ball. Only given up six here in this quarter. They host the Clippers after this game. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Brooks outside. To the wing. Scola over Beadrench. The Rockets again can't hit. That's not something you'll see very often. Not the mid-range jumper he wanted, but off target. Williams against Brooks. Ellis kicks to Udo. He forced it there. you got to be smart with the ball in your hand. Martin from outside. And it's Martin again missing. Up top, Curry. Covered by Martin. Here's Ellis. No good. And the Rockets going the other way now. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Martin kicks to Brooks. Pass to Scola. Miller up on top. Kept alive. Scola back and down. Goes back up. Again, Scola missing. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Trailing by 10. To the right wing. Williams dishes to Ellis. Fades back. Good. Ellis has got nine points. Here's Brooks. Right around five minutes left in the half. Timeout call for Rockets. Here's the 2K leaderboard with last season's best free throw shooting teams. Take a look at the Warriors. Top five in the NBA. Really solid. A team you don't want to foul. Boy, Kevin, I thought their coach really did a fantastic job of getting all of the guys on the team to realize the importance of free throws. You know, last year where they were great, excellent from the line. This year, they're hoping to do even better. And the Rockets making a change here. 
With Steph Curry last season, the Warriors just kept adding to their arsenal of deadly shooters. Yeah, and if you're going to struggle, one of the things you want to make sure you can do is shoot the ball, and they can do that. Um, they were a team that could score with the best of them, Kevin, and outside shooting continues to be a strength for them. Here's Curry. Now Beardrinch, five on the clock. Luis Scola with the rebound. And Clark, you have to think that what this Golden State team needs is a big man who can command some attention inside the paint. You want to have that outside-inside balance, Kevin. And with all those shooters, if you can get somebody who can demand attention in the paint and can produce in there, that makes them a dangerous team. And here comes Curry. Here is Bell. Brooks covering. Three-pointer right. That's good. He has five. Because they're behind, they feel a little pressure to start jacking up three-point shots. And it's led to more attempts from behind the arc. From deep, Brooks. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. They've done a really good job of knocking down their long-distance shots here in the second quarter. I mean, they're shooting just above 40% from downtown. That's outstanding. Beadrinch, he's covered by Yao. Rebound by Yao Ming. It seems like they're winning all of the hustle plays, getting all of the 50-50 balls, and they have a big advantage on the glass. Shooting for Houston. Kyle Lowry. Two shots. That one is off. Good on the second free throw. Clark, talking about the Rockets, they're at the forefront using quantitative analysis and advanced formulas to try to enhance their decision-making. They were leading the way when it came to looking at percentages of where guys shoot from best and what opponents don't like to do with the ball, so they're on top of that area. Got the bucket and the foul. Good for the three-point play. You look at Curry's splits from last year, he was putting up some scary numbers by the end of the season. Yeah, he really got better as the season went on. Overall, the numbers can deceive you. 17 points with six assists and about four and a half rebounds on the year. But his post-All-Star break numbers are the real story. And those post-All-Star numbers you mentioned for Curry, 22 points and five and a half rebounds and almost eight assists a game and you know kevin this all from a rookie who really is still learning how to play the point guard position well i think he can be scary good going forward well said here is bell it's two on one stolen away pass to brooks here's buttinger who tried to cram it home but drew the foul and he'll have to earn him at the line and here's a look at what's coming up for the Golden State Warriors. They'll be taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Taking two shots. First one falls for him. 18 wins at home for the Golden State Warriors a season ago. A tough matchup at Oracle, even with a depleted roster. And despite a tough season, the Warriors' die-hard fan base still packed Oracle Arena. I mean, they're, they're some of the most enthusiastic fans in the league, and that really picks up a team. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors, David Lee's checked in for Wright. Williams comes in for Charlie Bell. And it's Ellis in for Steph Curry. Now here's Ellis. 
Guarded now by Aaron Brooks. Ellis, that's good. Ellis has got 11 points. You were talking about these Warrior fans. They finished just outside the top 10 in attendance last season with a team that was well below 500. And that's very impressive. I mean, from ambushing the Mavs in their last appearance in the playoffs to testimonials you'll hear Rajon Rondo saying this is the toughest place to win on the road in the NBA. It just shows you what a great edge this open crowd provides for its team. Now Udo following the miss by Kyle Lowry from deep fouled and he was real close to getting the three-point opportunity he'll go to the line for two you know in the first i thought he did a really good job of putting pressure on the defense and creating opportunities at the foul line for himself not as much here in the second and the first one drops some good numbers for ellis 12 points and he's been pretty steady grabbing rebounds too Shane Battier is checked in for Houston. And he can't hit the second. Well, Kev, they're making a strong statement under the boards. I mean, out-rebounding by a pretty good margin here. The Rockets with another miss. Warriors trail by nine. Here's Ellis. He's got 12. Right side, Lee. Back to Ellis. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. And that one misses. Kevin Martin, he's checked in for Kyle Lowry. And the second free throw, good. Here's Brooks. He has seven. Gets rid of it. Here's Martin. Williams pulls it in. The D left him enough space to sink it, but he couldn't get it done. The tray. The shot is off. And the Rockets going the other way now. They've led by as many as 14 points. You gotta expect more out of him here. He's had a lot of difficulty this quarter, which in turn is making it difficult for them to cut into this deficit at all. Got a piece of it, and taken away by Ellis. Just because you can pass at the last second doesn't mean you should make a habit of it. Mattier against Williams. Ellis, that's good. Ellis has got 15. Despite his play, which has been stellar, they still find themselves on the short end of the scoreboard here. Someone else is going to have to help him out and step up. Here's Brooks. Blocked, but they recover it. Here's Scola, and he drops it in on the way. Scola's got his third bucket of the night. I like the job they're doing. A much better job of getting him involved in the offense here in the second quarter. And the first half is now in the books. Tremendous output for Meow. 13 points and two assists. He's gotten after it on the boards for them as well as in the transition game. Rockets lead by eight. And welcome. The NBA season's in its early stages. Let's get you going with the HP Halftime Report. The Houston Rockets in front against the Warriors at Oracle Arena. They've enjoyed a good start so far this season. Yao playing effortlessly. He's got 13 points, also has come away with nine rebounds. And no quitting the Warriors. They came to win. 
They've made a point of working themselves to the charity stripe and knocking down their free throws. A fantastic first half for Monte Ellis. After two, he's got 15 points and has gone to work on the glass, grabbing a few rebounds. A lot of points on the board between these two. They've led the charge in scoring for their teams. And now that's it for us here in the studios. Let's send you back to your arena. Kevin Harlan, Clark Kellogg, Doris Burke, waiting to call the second half for you. And the third quarter underway in just a moment. Here is Brooks. He has seven. Checking out the group for Rick Edelman to start this second half. Brooks and Martin manning the backcourt. Luis Scola at the power four. And Big Yao Ming in the middle. And Battier. A foul called, and he earns a trip to the line. Aaron Brooks, Clark, the NBA's most improved player last season, and well-deserving of that honor. Yeah, he was. First player to win it while playing for the Rockets, Kevin. He's a great shooter, tremendous explosive quickness, and he's excellent at creating space with his shot. The first free throw is good. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And Clark Brooks said he felt his biggest improvement was in his decision-making. And he's quoted as saying also that the game slowed down a lot for me, and that's important. The defender tasked with covering him, though, probably looks like he's in... To him, he looks like he's in fast forward. <laughs> yeah, right. Nice job at the line, and that one falls to pick up the end one. Here's Brooks. Eight points for him. Takes the shot. Battier's shot. Good. Battier's got his first points of the night. Warriors trail by eight. The Warriors, Clark, a team that definitely struggled on the defensive end last season. Well, they were without Beedrins all season long for the most part, and he's a presence inside. They had the second worst defensive efficiency in the league last season, and to be good at the defensive end, you've got to have a presence inside, and you need everybody healthy. Here's the Warriors with the ball. Eight-point game. And here is Curry. He has seven. Beadrench, a screen. Five to shoot. With one second left, and again, no good by Golden State. They're putting bodies on bodies and cleaning up the misses. Yeah, they're winning definitely the inside matchup right now. And as we were saying, they're doing a great job blocking out there. You know, Kevin, rebounding is a lot about blocking out and positioning, but it's also about timing and pursuing the ball. And you've got to do all of those things in order to come up with rebound. That's a good point. I think the defense was crowding him a little bit, threw him off some, so he had to fade just to get room to shoot and then couldn't adjust. And that's great court vision, Kevin. Even when he was about to shoot, he was still able to spot the open man. Ellis, the pass to Curry. And Beadrich kicks to Lee. Ellis against Martin. Martin knocks it away. Their shooting woes continue here. One of five. Just one of five. And I know they were hoping to get off to a faster start than that. What passion for the game. They're putting on a clinic out there. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Execute. 
Now get it right, get it, get it right. Putting pain where it ain't stolen in the hole. Inspiration, domination. To be the best, that's my motivation. As I quest, nonetheless. Beast from the east, best from the west. Style, style. I'm in the all-star game, come put my name in the battle. Here is the 2K leaderboard with last season's top passing teams. We'll take a look at the Warriors. Top five in the NBA, really solid, a fun team to watch. Well, I thought this team last season was a team that had some beautiful dimes. I mean, they would spread the floor with their ball movement and spacing and player movement. It was a beautiful thing to watch. Nice passes leading to baskets. Now here's Williams, picked up by Battier. They need this. The shot by Williams, no good. He's not giving an inch on defense. He really bothered that shot. Curry against Brooks. And close in the shot, even with the foul. Now the two free throws. It's on Andres Biedrich. You look at Yao, you see the height, but there is more to him than just that. Very much so, Kevin. I mean, he's thick down in his lower body, but he's also ter tremendously skilled. I mean, he's got an excellent touch. And he knocks down the first one. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And Clark with Yao, that is something that opposing centers have a lot of trouble with. Yeah, he is so comfortable with his release, and it comes at such a high point that it's just almost impossible to block. And his touch is nice and feathery soft. Very rare for a big guy. 17-point game. Here's Brooks. Hits the quick shot. Brooks has got 10 points. I love that they're staying aggressive and just keep piling on the points. Curry passes to Beadrench. Ellis against Martin. Here's Williams. Connects on the baseline jumper. He's got 10. Here is Brooks. He's got 10. The idea now is to try to wear them down with full court man-to-man -man defense. Shoot it, shoot it. And Yao gets it to go on the assist by Brooks. 17 points for Yao. This Warriors squad struggling. Trailing by 19. Timeout called the Warriors. The Eastern Conference has had some great teams up top, but as far as depth goes, uh, Clark, the West continues to be the dominant conference. Hey, you know, Kevin, if you look at drafts in recent years, that pattern kind of continues. I mean, it just seems like so often the better players end up in the West. Here's Ellis. He's got 18. It's Curry outside. Here's Houston now. They're on a 16 to 5 run here. Batty eight kicks to Brooks. And Curry picks him up defensively. Curry against Brooks. Here's Scola. And Houston again with the bucket. No answers on D. They can't do anything to stop them. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Now Curry. Seven points in the game. Here's Williams. Rebound by Yao Ming. Right now, boy, they're playing strong on the glass. Plus eight in rebound. 
Brooks kicks to Battier. Williams picks him up. Battier, the pass to Scola. With the shot. And Houston again with the bucket. Here's Curry. Just over five minutes left in the third quarter. And here's Beadrench. It's Ellis on the wing, covered by Martin. Ellis kicks to Curry. Here's Lee. Nails the turnaround jumper. Lee's got five. Way to square up off the quick turnaround. That's textbook, and it's pretty. Pass to Brooks. Battier against Williams. Here's Scola. And in there for two as he lays it up and in. 12 points for him. He's really one of the big reasons why they have the lead now. He's playing an extremely efficient game. It's fun to watch. Brooks against Curry. Lee against Scola. Just five on the clock. Lee dishes to Ellis. Two seconds left. Jump shot is good that time. Ellis has got 20 points. Here's Martin. 10 points for him. He dumps it off. Williams against Battier. Yao inside. Again, the Rockets score. Well, he's lighting it up, and that surprises no one. This guy is just a dynamite score. Lee outside. Lee is screen on Brooks. Here's Curry. It's blocked. He just hasn't been able to get on track in this game. Not like he would like to. He's a much better shooter than he's shown. Brooks against Williams. Let's it go from the wing. Brooks misses. And here we go with Steph Curry. He has seven. Over Battier. Curry's shot is good. Curry's got nine. Here is Brooks. 2.54 left in the third. With the teardrop. And oh, that was close. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. Last season, after spending all his career to that point there, Kevin Martin moved on from Sacramento to Houston. Yeah, and Kevin, it was a down year for him overall, just by a fraction, though, but he seemed to pick things up after he recovered from his injuries in Houston. When he's healthy, he's one of the dynamic scorers in the league. The first one falls, and the Warriors making a change here. Udo's checked in. The Rockets also changing it up. Patrick Patterson, he's checked in for Scola, and it's Lowry in for Aaron Brooks. He's off on the second. Kevin Martin has been too much to handle. He has 11 points, and he's gotten his hand on one shot for a block. Boy, he's been outstanding on both ends of the court. That's really a terrific look inside. Set him up beautifully. Here's Lowry, following the basket by Stephen Curry. Turnover by Houston. Let's take a look at the players who were the best on the glass a season ago. You look at Lee, he does a great job inside, one of the top rebounders in the league. You know, he was actually a monster on the glass. We talked about him throughout the season, and though he didn't lead the league, he was a big factor in a number of important games. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Curry kicks to Udo. Williams. Here's Ellis. Blocked. 2-13 left in the third quarter. Lowry with the ball. Kevin Martin on the wing. Takes it up. It's blocked. Still roll it, roll it. Here's Martin. He's got 11. Over Lee. Martin with the bucket. Martin's got 13. Here's Ellis. Here's Curry. And it's Martin picking him up. Curry passes to Lee. On the wing, Ellis. Behind the arc. 
Again, the miss by Ellis. You know, it might be the defense's game plan to force them to shoot from outside because they really sagged off on that one. Boy, that was nice and easy. But easy's probably just the way he likes it. Yeah, and the one-hand slam always looks nice, Clark, on the highlight reel. Here's Curry. Right side, Lee. Blocked. Stolen by Martin. And Curry picks him up defensively. Lowry against Ellis. From 18 feet away. And it's Martin again missing. And it's the Warriors ball. Williams. Good execution on the break leads to the nice bucket. Here's Lowry. 45 seconds left in the third. I'm open right here. Get down. I got Here's Yao. And the bucket is good. Now he'll get a trip to the stripe. A three-point play opportunity. And the Warriors with some changes. Right comes in for Reggie Williams. And Charlie Bell subbed in for Steph Curry. Jordan Hill, he's checked in for the Rockets. Budinger checks in for Kevin Martin. The and one is good, so a three-point play that time. Here's Ellis. 20 points for him. It's blocked. Houston in total control. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Patterson. Pass to Hill. Denial. Here comes Monte Ellis. Here's Bell. No good on the baseline, J. And here is Patterson. We're at the end of the third quarter with a big deficit on the scoreboard. Yao Ming really has his fingerprints all over this one. Yep, a double-double already. He's been marvelous, Kevin. It's as simple as that. Rockets ahead, opening up a huge gap. October 31st, this Halloween. Tune in or be scared. Monte Ellis and the Golden State Warriors take on Kobe Bryant and the L.A. Lakers live next Sunday night. And now let's send it to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for our Sprite Spark of the game. Doris. Hi, Kevin. The spark in this game, the big push by the Rockets. During the third quarter, they put together a nice run and really look to have the momentum in this game, Kevin. Great, Doris. That big scoring run being a difference maker, Clark, in this game. Well, it often comes in spurts, Kevin. Spurtability is what I call it, and that's what happened today. Here's Curry. David Lee is out there with Udo. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then there's Charlie Bell and Wright. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Here is Udo. Lee left side. Great anticipation. It's hard to make a pinpoint pass from that far away. He couldn't get a hold of him. Outside Lowry. It's dumped off. Patterson backs in. Throws it up. Cannot hit. So the Warriors take it the other way. That shot didn't have a chance. He doesn't have the soft. Whoa! That can crush a defender's spirit when he finishes with that kind of flourish. Clark, is there anything better than a slam like that? I don't think so. Here's Lowry. Turnover by Houston. And this is what the schedule looks like for Houston. They'll be facing the San Antonio Spurs. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Yeah. 
Here's Curry. Now recovering. Curry can't get it to go. This is one of the key reasons why they're losing. You have to get more production out of your core star players. Buttinger with it. The three. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. They're doing a good job of playing inside-out basketball. In other words, they're forcing the defense to collapse, and that leaves somebody on the perimeter open. And that guy is getting the ball on time and in rhythm. Curry against Lowry. Another miss by Curry. Houston in total control. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. It's back to Hill. Now Patterson. Right's there. Doubled by Lee. Budinger. Eight feet out. Hayes, no good. And here's Bell. Outside Curry. Lowry picks him up. Four on the clock. Here's Wright. Slams it through. Excellent anticipation there, Kev. He placed that pass perfectly. So it's Houston now. Now Lowry. Patterson with it. Hill. Thrown back. Here's Wright, and he jams it in beautifully. That's just poor defense, Kevin. Somebody's got to get back and defend the basket. Instead, they give up a rack-to-rack -rack finish. Hill, inside, to the paint. Here's Hayes. At the line for the Rockets, Chuck Hayes taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Mark, you keep hearing about NBA teams getting much more stat conscious, using mathematics to improve their strategies and decision making. What do you think of all that? Yeah, it's, it's intriguing, and I think it can be helpful and useful. I mean, your old box scores, even stuff like plus minus, is getting antiquated. So it seems like teams are going more and more in the direction of what they call analytics, and I think it's positive. Both teams will make substitutions. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Outside Curry. And a three. Clark, you uh, mentioned plus minus one area that coaches really use over the course of multiple games. Yeah, determining what impact an individual play player has on the overall score and success of his team. As a player, I didn't really always like it, but I can see where coaches use it, and it, it, it's useful. Packed on the way up, and he'll get two shots at the line. We've seen Louis Scola playing a good game here. 12 points and a steal. What energy he's shown today, whether it's on the offensive end or on deep. First one falls for him. So for the Rockets, Chase Budinger, he's checked in for Battier. Lee comes in for Kevin Martin. And it's Lowry in for Aaron Brooks. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Here's Ellis. About six and a half minutes left in the fourth. Covered by Lee. Goes up. Blocked. Lowry with the ball. And here's Hayes. Here is Budinger. And taken away by Ellis. Kevin, you know, they're still doing a pretty good job of limiting their giveaways right now. Over Lowry. And that one's good, Ellis. 
Ellis has got 22 points. Here is Lowry. Lee is screen on Curry. Curry against Lowry. Scola against Lee. Scola kicks to Lowry. Shot clock at two. Tosses it up. Nailed it with just a little time left on the shot clock. Lowry's got his second basket of the night. And here's Golden State. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Ellis with a screen on Lowry. Here's Curry with the three. Kept alive. Here's Lee. Right around five minutes left in the game. Curry against Lowry. Back to Lee. Over Ellis. And Houston again with the bucket. When he gets it going like this, you got to double team him. That's your only hope. Here's Curry. Left side, Williams. Pulls up. High post. And the Warriors tack on two more. Here's Lee. Pass to Lowry. Lee is screen on Curry. Scola back and down. Gets it to the fall. Speed is only part of the equation here. He's not blinding quick, but he was determined to take that one to the rim. Lee kicks to Williams. Pass to Ellis. The alley-oop. Beadrinch, guarded by Scola. Over Lowry. Another miss by Curry. So it's Houston now. Outside Lowry. Scola back and down. Jacks up the triple. No good from Lee. Curry dishes to Ellis. He can't be stopped. Ellis has got 26 points. Here's Lee. Just over three minutes left to the fourth. Pass to Lowry. Guarded by Kerr. Right side Lowry. Knocks it loose. He dishes it. Here's Scola. Good D by Lee. And it's the Warriors ball. Williams kicks to Curry. Let's go with a three. Another miss by Curry. Kevin, he's been ice cold here in the second half. If he can't make his shots, he needs to drive or pass off to teammates. Get through, get through, get through. Williams against Lowry. Lee picked up by Ellis. And a foul call. Almost got it to go in, but he'll go to the line for two. That's on Monte Ellis. At the line for the Rockets, Courtney Lee taking two shots. The first one falls. Houston with a big group substitution here. Yao, he's checked in for Hayes. Patterson comes in for Luis Scola. Shane Battier is checked in for Chase Budinger. And it's Brooks in for Kyle Lowry. He hits both from the stripe. Here's Curry. 2.30 left in the game. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're down by 22. 227 left in the fourth. Shots of 
Houston making some changes. Jordan Hill, he's checked in for Yao. Budinger checks in for Shane Battier. And it's Lowry in for Aaron Brooks. Got a piece of it. And Kev, that's only his first giveaway for the game. Mm. Here comes Curry. Lee passes to Ellis. Pass to Curry from downtown. It bounces out of bounds after the shot. Rockets ball. Here's Lee. And here's Lowry. And Curry picks him up defensively. Lowry kicks to Lee. With the fadeaway, another miss by Houston. And so here's Golden State. Here's Curry. Kept alive. Takes it up. And Beadrench with the stuff. He is so tenacious on the board. How many times have we seen putbacks like that from him? He can clear out the paint like very few others can. You know what you might call him, Kevin? Mm. A rebounding virtuoso. Yeah, I like it. That's right. Here's Lowry. The Warriors making the shot. Just five to shoot. Put a fork in him, Kevin. This one's over. Here's Ellis. 1.15 left in the game. Here's Lee. Scooped up. Theodrench passes to Lee. Great pass into the lane. He'll take that one every time. Here's Lee. The dump off. Now Budinger. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's on Andres Beatrich. And the first one drops. That one misses. And it's the Warriors' ball. Here's Curry. Goes up. Hands it from in close. They needed this run soon. I don't think they have enough time left to stage a comeback now. And here are the Rockets now. They have a 19-point lead. Outside Lowry. Patterson with it. He's against Lee. Releases. Scooped up. And the basket by Hill. Hill's got his second bucket of the night. With this double-digit margin, very little can be done to make this a contest now. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Curry. Another miss by Curry. You know, he can sink it from out there. It didn't happen that time, but at least it's in the back of the defense's mind that he will let it fly from there. Here's Lowry. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark and Doris and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least, here is your Jordan Brand player of the game, Yao Ming.